Whoops. Thought I'd come to the zoo today. They unloaded like six buses of kids from like summer school or something. I'm like, of course. But they got this huge uh, mastodon here. Look at the size of his teeth there. Well, that's pretty cool. But I don't know. Maybe that's why I like when the school season's in so much because everything's so much quieter here. It's just. I mean, good for them. That's cool. <laughs> See, it's quiet over here on this side of the zoo because this is nature. Kids don't care about nature. They just want to go through the monkeys. So, kind of got it all to myself. It's going to be another warm day today. So, we're running the air conditioner in the in the RV nonstop. Uh, but like I said, I'm just going to cancel my plans for visiting the uh, Aurora Zoo here at Phillips Park and get back on the road, try something different. You comfy, Jax? About ready to go? Alright man, here we go! Gotta outsmart those kids on summer vacation. Come to the library, I guarantee ya. No kid is gonna voluntarily come to the library in the summer. Actually, this is pretty cool. Any uh, Dr. Seuss fans? Look at this. He's actually holding a pan of green eggs and ham up there. Isn't that awesome? I'm not sure if Dr. Seuss was around here, but I definitely remember all these books. Oh, and by the way, Dr. Seuss was not born or from Naperville, Illinois. They just happened to uh, like to showcase him in this area. He's actually from uh, Springfield, Massachusetts. I'm going to leave that one in. Uh, we got another library here in Naperville. Naperville. Who knows? Maybe the ends are silent and it's just... Aperville. I never know anymore. But look, just in time for Christmas, the Grinch and his dog Max. I love the outfit there, dude. Oh, Max is dressed as a reindeer and he looks kind of sad. You sad, buddy, Max? Jack says hi, Max. And there's a little plaque there kind of talking about uh, 2012 when they put this here just because Dr. Seuss was so beloved by kids. Okay, I get it. That's cool. Do you have a poem? I do not like green eggs and ham. I like my cat food in a can. Yeah, you do. I do not want hamburger or cow. I want my food right meow. <laughs> now, I don't know what this Hollywood Boulevard store sells, but I like what they got going. Look at the Blues Brothers. Heck yeah, that is awesome. Oh, it's a movie theater, by the way. Yeah. I don't even know if they're open, but the door was open. Get a load of this place. It's a pretty awesome movie theater, isn't it? Wow. They've got these facial casts of a bunch of characters. There's the Terminator, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Kind of an oriental theme part here. I have never seen a movie theater like this. I really like the effort, guys. All the old movie posters is really cool. And here's where the movie theaters are. Look at this. That's a lot of effort. Oh, old Wilson there. Hmm. Yeah, so they haven't even started their first movie of the day, but there is a museum that you can check out. And you can buy alcohol right here outside the movie theater with a car. That's pretty cool. That's cool. King Kong. Look at all the detail. They even put in fake uh, coin meters all along through here and each theater is like individually themed. Like this is the Wizard of Oz. There's where you go in and see your movie. I know it's really dark. Isn't that cool? Incredible effort here. And then their museum of some movie artifacts in here. Did you guys see Passengers? <laughs> yeah, they have a replica tomb thing. And Austin Powers uh, egg. Is there stuff in there? Yeah. <laughs> From Terminator 4 Salvation, a T-600 warrior. <laughs> nice. Fun little stop. You don't even gotta got buy a movie ticket. Just come in and look around. That's pretty cool. Seriously though, craft beer while you're watching a new movie? Um, I like that. Can we, can we do that more? That's awesome. Uh, I've driven about 15 miles from uh, the Blues Brothers place. Same day, just uh, drastically changed on me here. This is incredible. 
Ooh. Jax, are we back in the Northwest? <laughs> uh. See, this is this is one of the things that's cool about just not being in a rush to get anywhere, really ever, you know, traffic, weather, uh, there's some clearing. So all I'm really going to do is just park up here by this next Lincoln Monument and uh, we'll kind of just wait for it to stop because I'll bet it'll stop in about an hour or two and it'll be nice outside again. Uh, right now, not so much, but that that's... One of the fun things about being on the road and traveling for a living is if I just find like the most perfect spot to boondock or if the weather slows me down a little bit, I don't have to get somewhere like everybody else does. Oh, and look at this guy. You're just so stressed. You're just so stressed, man. Yeah. Okay. What'd I tell you? Sunshine! Although, it's still dripping from the trees. Camera's gonna get a little wet, but... Um, across the street from where I'm parked is uh, Lincoln Landing here. Nice little creek running through there. And all of a sudden, like, as soon as I stepped out, like, it, I could feel the 92 degrees that it really is. That was a weird little storm. Uh, traffic's still backed up, so I'm gonna walk around and try to find another entrance to the park. Nice little pathway over the water. Ooh, that, can you guys see that over there? That's not river water, that's like road water coming off of where I was just at emptying into the river. This one's a little different. This is uh, three Lincolns here, it all put into one. Uh, but first of all, we need to get this off the ground. That's not gonna work. All right, that's better. A strange piece because they all seem to be wearing the same outfit. Wow, and then growing out of each other. Very strange. Lincoln Landing. All right. While I was in the RV waiting for the rain to stop, there was a very loud noise, like a crack, boom. See, there's where I'm parked over there. Well, look what just happened, guys. That just broke off. Stay out of that guy's way. He's going places. <laughs> you know, I, I bet I could probably boondock there for one night, but I, with the road noise and, and everything, I'm gonna skip it. Now that it's nice, I'm gonna get back on the road and uh, back to Lincoln Highway. Hey, guess what? We're, uh, we're not done with the uh, Blues Brothers here. We're here at the uh, Joliet Prison here. It closed uh, 15 years ago, actually, and they are remodeling the prison right now. It will not be open for tours again until August. I feel like this would be a really neat one to see, though. You can see the Blues Brothers reference here out front. If my memory serves me correct, I think they shot the outside of one of these walls when, when he was released in, in, in the movie, so that might look familiar to you, the, the side there. But, yep, I was actually talking to the uh, security guard on duty here, he said some kids broke in a couple months ago and started fires and broke a bunch of stuff. Uh, you can see the officer there. There's one there and there's one on the other side now. They're just, they're just monitoring it now so that people don't spray paint their graffiti crap all over it and ruin it. But you got the men's prison is, is this main portion right here with like 40 buildings inside. And then across the street is the old uh, women's prison as well. They're also going to change that for Halloween, I guess, and turn it into a haunted house mansion, the, the part over there. So I just got unlucky with this particular stop because they're doing a bunch of remodel and construction and there's nothing to see. But yeah, if these walls could talk, I tell you what. Well, it's an utterly nice day now. Yuck, yuck, yuck. This old birth of a cow here. Big old Bertha, we're here at a creamery. So I am going to grab the cat stroller, yes, because it's a safe, secure way to keep Jax close to me and get something to eat here and uh, hang out with Jax outside. Jax, man, you wanna see if they have any cat treats? I don't think they do. Yep, yep, there's the creamery. Jax, they didn't have a cat menu. Yeah, they didn't have a cat menu, I was kind of surprised. No, 
Well, you can smell it. You want to smell it? It's got chocolate in it, though. And dairy. Look at that. That looks good. <laughs> like that shade, huh? Well, it's better than keeping you in the RV, huh? You didn't get to hang out with me. You you need a brush. You need you need a brush bad. Oh my goodness. What's up with that, dude? Hmm? Okay. You ready to go? Hey, just off Lincoln Highway, like half a mile off Lincoln Highway, might be the quietest Walmart I've ever stayed at. Well, I'm gonna go run in and grab a few things and then we'll get settled. I don't know. There's just something about these old Route 66 and Lincoln Highway that, that can put anybody out of business. Even a huge Walmart Supercenter. Actually, there's one about eight miles away in a different city. But why do they just abandon the entire property and building and just start from... I mean, I don't... Wouldn't you just want to remodel where you're at? I don't know. Actually, I started thinking about it and I'm like, you know, until it gets dark or at least until the sun sets, how about I just relax here, do some editing, eat, take a shower, you know, just kind of just utilize the wide open vastness of this area until I go to the other one to sleep for the night in my RV. Does that make sense? Yeah, it's nice and peaceful. So I'll hang out here and then we'll head out in a little bit. Actually, this Walmart's only uh, about two and a half miles away from the old one, just in a, in a different city. And all of a sudden, I feel better. I'm getting ready to turn off the generator and air conditioner because the wind is blowing that air around feeling a little nice. So I'll be able to save some fuel, finally, on, on the generator. And uh, so yeah. Anyways, Jackson, I'll see you here in a couple days back on the Lincoln Highway. Bye guys.